Hello, I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Hunter, and I want to talk to you right now about, hey, why you should quit closing sales and start opening relationships. Yes, I want you to write that down. Quit closing sales and start opening relationships. I'm going to walk you through 10 things here. And hey, I do encourage you to check out the Sales Hunter University. We've got a lot of courses in there to help you sell more efficiently, more effectively. And of course, make sure that you subscribe to us if you're checking this out on YouTube because we put new videos out there all the time. Okay, let's get into it. Hey, what's your plan to stay in touch with the customer after the sale? Too many salespeople, what they do is they, they land a customer and then they go out and they try to get another, another customer. Hey, wait a minute. The cheapest customer you're ever going to get is the one you've currently got. So let's walk through 10 things that I want you to focus in on. One, delivering on expectations. Here's the whole thing. You have to make sure that you are very clear on delivering on expectations. Because here's the whole thing. You may perceive the customer is going to receive something, but the customer perceives something different. How do you do that? you got to follow up with them. Two, checking on the outcomes that the customer is receiving. Again, customers not buying from you because they want to buy from you. They're buying from you because they want to achieve an outcome. So you better find out what is that outcome that they're looking for and zero in on that. Three, just call them up to say thank you. You see, what is this all about? It's about staying in touch with them. In fact, it's interesting on one of my podcasts, Sales Logic Podcast, when I co-host every week with Meredith Elliott Powell, we talked about this very subject. I really encourage you to check out Sales Logic and that podcast regarding onboarding of new customers. Now, here's the whole thing. I'm thanking the customer and I'm thanking them not by sending them a note. I'm calling them, reaching out to them. Because again, I want to open a relationship. We open a relationship through conversations. Number four, you want to be helping them. You want to explore more with them. What do I mean by that? I want to, I want to explore more with them by asking them more questions, understanding more about their business, sharing with them information. I want to be continuously being a conduit of resource to them. Number five, I want to build a personal connection. Yes, personal connection. Now, some of you may find that, oh, I can't do this. But hey, connect with them on LinkedIn. It's social media. Maybe connect with them on Facebook. Connect with them in the avenues and the manners that they communicate. Again, what is it doing? It's about staying in touch with them long after the sale. Number six, share connections, share leads. I did this the other day. I had a person who I've done some business with, and it's great, and I'm staying in touch with that person, and I referred to them some other leads for them for them to be able to potentially do business. And I also share with people all the time connections, other people they need to meet. You see, it's about building your network. Number seven, invite feedback. Yeah, invite feedback. You see, you want to call your customers and ask them, hey, how, how are we doing? What, what's happening with in terms of your business? And have we been able to deliver your, you know, you're just being in a continuous process of finding out from them and helping them. And in so doing, you're getting valuable feedback. Eight, put it in your calendar to do a quarterly checkup. Put it in your CRM. Every existing customer you have needs to have a quarterly checkup. And it's very simply this. You're calling up, hey, every quarter I reach out to all my customers. I want to find out how things are going for you. Are we delivering? What else can we do? You see, you're staying in touch with them. And again, it's opening a relationship. Number nine, online reviews. Ask those current customers you've had. Hey, would you mind leaving me a review? Now, that may be a recommendation on LinkedIn. It may be a review on a particular industry uh, uh, site, wherever it might be, but invite them. Hey, in fact, right now, what I'm going to ask you to do is, hey, if you like the podcast I do, Sales Logic or the Sales Hunter podcast, hey, would you mind leaving me a review? It's how I stay in touch with people. And number 10, don't hesitate to ask for referrals. Ask for referrals. Again, it's allowing the customer to participate in your success. Now, don't think it's just one-sided because again, you're giving them referrals. Hey, 10 things I've gone through in terms of what's your plan to stay in touch with the customer after the sale. 
quit closing sales and start opening relationships.